it is a great feeling to know that you can learn something every single day. A couple of days ago, I learned to use the export feature of OneNote. Well, here's the background. I started a new job and for about two weeks, I did not realize that I was using my personal Microsoft credentials instead of my work credentials to sync my notes in OneNote. I had multiple notes saved from over 20 meetings with multiple section groups. Now, you might be wondering what are section groups. And section groups is really, it does the same thing for your notes, similar to storage folders and subfolders, allowing us to keep our data structured and organized. Typing over all that information or copying and pasting what I'd done before is just not an option. After quick internet research, I got some complicated steps that did not work out well for me. I pondered why can't I just do export and export as per usual. Luckily for me, I was able to find a solution. And just to note though, I actually utilize OneDrive to ensure I have access to my files wherever I go with use of my mobile devices. Therefore, having my OneNote notebooks available in OneDrive allows me the flexibility to manage my notes on demand, making my job tasks seamless and easier to manage. As you can see here, I have my OneDrive for personal and I have my OneDrive for work, keeping them separate. Now I'll open OneNote and as you can see, I am logged in with my personal email account and I can switch between the two and my work email account. For privacy reason, I this is a simulation of what had occurred. So it does not have my private information there. And these are what you call the section groups. And all that it is, is that, okay, I have a personal note there, personal note there, I have my blue ship general. And for this, I have my internal meetings, which could, could be a bunch of different meetings about project one, project two, blah. Now, for my clients meeting, I have various clients, and a client, it could be a case where I have this particular client being client A, uh, and that one of the project are, our objective of that meeting is actually to organize the OneDrive training for that company, or to do a SharePoint migration, or to do a SharePoint site configuration. In addition to that, the extranet user management pro, uh, toolkit that exists from extranet user management allows for organizations to use the to have external email or guest users to gain access to specific information on SharePoint. But that's for another time. Now, going back to what I was talking about in terms of the note itself, when you move your notes, it being in my personal right now, there are a few things to think about. Uh, dependent on the situation. If all of your notes are work-related, then you can easily change the location of that work note to your office OneDrive or your business OneDrive, and that would be it. Simple as that. So I'll show you that. All you do is right-click, go to Properties, and as you can see, it's in my OneDrive personal documents and you can just change the location of this and it will literally move it so it's in personal right now and i'm moving it to work navigating and it's this is my work folder on onedrive so once i move it here then it becomes my notebook in my work onedrive and then i'll just select and that will be it it will move it but that is not my situation and that's not what i'm focusing on right now what i'm focusing on is actually moving some of my personal things out and things to note as well. Let's say, for instance, you don't want to do the backup of your notebook with your personal and you want to migrate that before you do the backup. That's something to consider as well. In addition to that, it doesn't, it, the, the organization of my notes can be different. It could be that you have multiple notebooks for your client meetings, but this is how I manage my, my, my or organize my notebook. Now, all I would do in a case where I'm adding a notebook and this is me adding a notebook to my personal to move my personal notes out from the, the, the current main notebook to my personal notebook. So what I'll do is create a notebook and it's very simple. Go to add notebook. Then you would 
browse to where you're adding that notebook and I'll go to, you could save, well, it's gonna be on your personal because that's where you're storing it, right? So what I'll do is just name it personal and I'll create it. Not inviting anyone to that notebook, just me. And there you go. I have my personal and my notes. And then what I could do is move my personal notes to my personal notebook. And there you go, it appears there. So what I've added up there would have been there. And I can move the other one just to move all the things that are personal from what I'm going to do when I'm going to do the backup. All right, now they're out. So I have two. So my personal is intact and it's still synchronized with my, and you can know what it's synchronized with when you hover over it. It would show you OneDrive personal. You can go to properties, it shows you that already. So just in case you want to make sure that where your notes are actually stored, it will show you. So these are all my personal notes. Now I'm going back and what I'm going to be doing now is doing an export. What I'm, where I'm exporting it to is my work OneDrive notebook folder. So what I'll do is go to file, select export, notebook, one package, export and now I'm going to be, you could have saved it on your personal but since I've removed the personal this is all work makes sense to move it into the blue shift work folder one note and I'm saving it as Andrew's note that's it now I've exported it there so what I want to do is to launch that note or restore that notebook in my work notebook folder and to do that all I would need to do is basically go to the folder, bring that back up, go to documents, notebook, and here you're seeing the backup file. It's a package file. All I need to do is to double click. Once I double click, it's asking me where I want to store this or the path. I'll just select the work path again, which is there. I have the opportunity to change the color coding if I want. And I have the opportunity to change the name of it, but I'll leave it as is. Once I hit create, it loads everything that I had before. And this is now when you look at the notebook itself, and I'll bring that up in a second. When you look at the color code that differentiates them, it shows that this one, that's my work. And now this one, which was my personal, and this one is my personal. So now that I've basically restored it to my work, I can now close this by right-clicking, close this notebook. So now I have my personal under personal, OneDrive, and then Andrew's notes, which is my work notes, under my work profile in OneDrive. And that is how you can manage both in one application.